Oh, some I have right? Sorry. Do you have anything you want to contribute? Any video? No, oh, I do want to put your video good, on. I have a good through the uh, do you want to put your camera, this camera on? on? I might want to do that. <laughs> already put theirs up. Right. We'll just deal with that next year. You mean moving it? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, I'm not asking them to move the sticker this year. Yeah. Okay. Because probably when you go to peel it off, I don't know it would destroy whether it. it would destroy it or not. But well, that doesn't um, stick really well. You know, yeah. 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 You know, new stickers that are issued from no. X date on, no, no. put them down there. Mm -hmm. But for yeah. And I've spent some time over there looking at stickers over the last few weeks and. They're all over the place. Well, they're not all over the place, but they're some of them easy to see. Some people are great. They do drop it below that shaded part of the windshield, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah. Any more comment on that, please, Chief? As long as it's on the, the edge someplace, it's yeah. not an issue. Okay. You know, I don't want to have it obstruct the view of the driver. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I didn't know the reasoning for moving the stickers. So yeah. that's one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Two inches above the inspection sticker. It's away from the inspection sticker. Anywhere sticker. within in that area. Above or around it. You know, if it was within two or three inches of the inspection sticker, it would be good. So that's my only only thing that I've seen that I'd like to add to it if we could. Oh, and they what section is it again, Um, it's section two on the bottom of um, the second page. No. It's underlined in the last sentence. It 
it does say affixed to the motor vehicle as directed. So I think that we could change the pamphlet that we give out every year to direct people in a new way. I'm not sure that you have to change the language. You can just change the directions in a given year. That's a good point because the inspection sticker might move mm -hmm. again. True. That's all mine. Yeah. Probably not, but. It doesn't really say where. It, it's a, do you get something when you get it from town hall, the where to put it? So yeah. how would they know where if they didn't? I, if, I, they must yeah. tell them, apparently, because they, they end up in the same spots. Okay. Or people have got them years after year, they peel old one off, they stick the new one on. Yeah, I believe it says in the pamphlet, but they were directing people when it changed, because mm -hmm. it used to be um, down by, I think in the inspection sticker, or either that it was in the top left, I don't know. But they, I don't know why that. I don't know, but it, it got moved, wherever it used to be, it got moved to the upper right hand corner. And so they used to tell everybody, but I think it was also in the um, pamphlet that they give out. So it wouldn't be easier just to make sure that you tell them that you need to move it below whatever. Uh, do you, you can tell them, but, but it vision? should be it should be when they get their sticker, they should know where to put it. I mean, when well, you get your, tell them, have them to tell yeah, them. Yeah, 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 or have a little slip of paper that goes with it is where you're supposed to Example, go. Example, but below because yeah. I know what you're talking. Yeah. About. I have this but black think, thing going across mine. Mm -hmm. I mean, if we can get it out of that and get it down in one nice little spot, I think it would be better. You get some trucks that come in, you, you know, they're, they're fairly high. They're, you know, some of the jacked up trucks and stuff, pickups, and mm -hmm. you know, I'm just trying to make it easy for the guys. So it doesn't matter, Bob, if the, if the um, register, uh, inspection sticker is below or above that? Yeah, no, that it doesn't, as long as it's in that one area. Correct. Do we want to fix it now? I don't think you have to. I think the language allows you to change the, you know, change the pamphlet. So we're just going to change the pamphlet. I think that's easier okay. because then you have the authority at any time to change how people are directed. Okay. How about you, Jessica? Sounds great. Okay. I can't tell you how little of an opinion I have, so <laughs> I think your suggestion sounds perfect. <laughs> All right. Um, who, who's going to go and work with Kate to make sure whatever she I can do it if you revised. direct me to. All right, should we need to vote on this, I suppose? You can't vote no. Oh, okay, I can't vote no workshop, but when we get out, I don't, yeah, I know. Because we're not changing it, actually. Yeah. We're just so going to direct whoever is giving out the pamphlet to have the proper instructions. I can take care of that. She will take care of that for you. Oh, great. Cool. All right, we're done. Appreciate it. Um, anything else on this? Comment from a visitor? Salme? No? You too? No? Alright, I guess we close the public hearing. Okay, close the public hearing at 610. Um, do you have non public or do you have regular business? I have, a, yeah, I have an emergency item, to, yeah, but it's public. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, you have to wait. Emergency repair. We have to wait till 6.30, I guess. All right. Yeah. Did you see that paper to your left? I just want to bring that to your attention. That has my name on it. Yes. Oh. Okay. When does this do? Hmm. It's in my mind. <coughs> if it's just to you, it's probably your birthday. <coughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> I need to put it in there. You need a building permit too. Oh, oh, go for How about that? Do you think? There's a problem when it creates in that area. She's not telling me. Okay. Pouring rain in my kitchen. Pouring rain in my new bath. Oh, no. Uh, I hate it. We haven't had any water issues. Put it back in the Oh, yeah. In the kitchen, yeah. In the snow and melting, it's coming in the house. So, I have a rubber roof put on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Huh. 
Oh, the one that goes around the front of my porch. Oh, camera. Camera. Coming, coming. And um, I'm, I'm going to let Bob go because he's patiently been waiting for half an hour for our meeting to start. So. Thank you. Just two quick items, an easy one first. We've got the annual IMC support, uh, software support bill from the Stratford County Sheriff's Department today. And so it's purchase number 1889, made out to the Stratford County Sheriff's Department for $3,455. And that comes out of our uh, dispatch line item. So move purchase order 1889 to Stratford. County Sheriff's Department, $3,455 for annual uh, software support. Second. All right. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. During the rainstorm on Saturday, uh, water got into the light bar on cruiser number 71, the 2016 vehicle. I shorted it out, but it shorted it out in the opposite way. It didn't short it out so it doesn't work. Now the lights just flash intermittently all by themselves when they should have. <laughs> um, just to give you a little his history in that vehicle, uh, instead of going to a uh, one of our regular vendors that year, we actually uh, got a, a quote from another vendor who was just starting up business and was going to save the town a ton of money to install this equipment. And uh, come to find out, uh, there was no savings at all. We didn't lose any money, but uh, there was some issues with the vendor. And the equipment that was put on the vehicle that isn't uh, as, uh, as uh, in high quality as what we normally get. It, we usually get the weight on light bar. This is a, this is a Phoenix light bar. Uh, anyway, so, so, so Two Way has, uh, they had purchased 12 light bars at one point to get a deal. Um, uh, and this is an extra one down there. Light bars normally go for three thousand dollars. They're willing to sell us that light bar for five hundred dollars. Let's bring the light bar. Um, so I've got a uh, purchase order here number one eight nine zero to two way to replace the roof light bar on Cruiser seventy one. I've actually made it up for thousand dollars, just assuming it's it's many hours of labor to take off the old one, hook up the new one, hook up to the camera system, and all that stuff. Um, I, I know it's going to be a high number. I I think it's probably going to be close to seven fifty eight hundred, but I want to make sure that. Persona was high enough. And that will come out of our equipment line. Is it a Wayland or a Phoenix? It's going to be a uh, Wayland. Cool. Alright, purchase order 1890 for a light bar to two way. $1,000. We'll second that. Okay. Any discussion? What color are they? <laughs> what color are they? Green on this uh, hopefully blue. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's so cheap. They want to get their business back. <laughs> All right. All those in favor say aye. 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 Sorry, sign it. That's okay. We have to get that color taken care of. Okay. That's all that I have for the board. Anything for me? Mm -hmm. Sure. Thank you. 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 And George, do you have something that you need know, to do? Are you here just to be here or are you No, I, I have questions on that. You get you get Well, no, we have Charlie who is on the agenda, but it's gonna be a while. If you want to go. Okay, no, I just wanted to ask like when we have a s I don't know if this is what we're gonna have to work on public about uh, when we have a storm at the do we have a line for that? No. I mean, every town around they tied up to 24 teams. That's why you just wanted to be that. I'm not sure that this board has ever had the discussion. It was not allowed for many years, and then one board not long ago decided that, you know, under certain, you know, when, when it's a particularly long storm that was never really defined, um, then they could do it, just not every storm. So, yeah, it's, it's a two-hour storm. Forth. It wouldn't be necessary. No, You're yeah, talking in overnight and stuff, and not. I don't have a problem with it. I mean, we 
guys think? Yeah. I mean, I'm sure we can find a couple of hundred dollars. So keep, it in the, keep it in the back of your head for your next year's budget that you have a line in there. It'll be part of your... your uh, well, it's not a question. But, you know, keep it in your... Just keep it in your head to increase, increase that line or a line to help offset that. I mean, it's not like we get... No, no, I know. That's why I said I don't think it's a problem. But, um, but going forward, you know, I don't know how much snow we're gonna get for the rest of the year. <laughs> but all right, so we wanna, we wanna take a vote on that. Sure. Okay. Um, I move that we allow um, funds to come out of the budget to feed the guys on a particularly long storm. Mm -hmm. I'll second that. Okay. Any further discussion? Um, do we want to put some sort of Limit value? Yeah. yeah. Or we would just think that you don't get two groceries and make something up. Like sandwiches or something like or that. Sometimes you have a pizza or something. Yeah. You know, so like not to exceed $100. Yeah. Does that sound fair? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. In a, a storm. Right. A, a, yeah, okay. yeah. I, I didn't want to do, like, someone should give the guys vouchers and yeah. be more worth on that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, I would just, think you know. it would be better just to bring it in house and have them come in as they come in through <coughs> the rotation. You and know, that, I mean, that's, that's why I decided. Got any questions on uh, the gambling warrant article? Joel Bold can answer it. He's right here. I understand, but we have an agenda that we have to oh. follow. Oh, I didn't know one's comment from visitors. It, it's meeting with Charlie Putnam is the and first then, before oh, that. Then comments. Oh, sorry. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Thank you so much for Hi. coming in and being here with us. Thank you. The warrant is in there along with a copy of the presuming um, revisions for your reference. So thank you for meeting with me. Um, it's uh, part of my routine for getting ready for the used to be town meeting that deliberative session to the board, see what questions or concerns you may have, what uh, changes you may want to see me make in moderators' procedures or rules. Um, I'd like to encourage everyone for every warrant article to have somebody to speak to and to introduce it to the voters. That's my list. I have one 
big question, which I, I guess I've never been told the answer to, is what is the responsibility of the Board of Selectmen to be part of the election? What is our our responsibility? Do we have to be there a certain many hours? I mean, does it have to be all of us at the same time? Because it's a little different now that we have a board that works full time versus previously that someone's been there. So do you know what our responsibilities are? I know it says we have to be there, but it didn't say that we have to be all be there and all be there all day. So, um, and what's our purpose? <laughs> well, I would say probably to propose the article since they are, you know, with the exception of... No, I'm talking about election, election day. Oh, I'm sorry. Before yeah, election day. Okay. Yeah, well, any election is before this year, so... I'm, I'm not going to go from memory, and I didn't bring my, oh, that's uh, okay. my election books okay. with me, but let me take a look. Um, I do recall that there is a statute uh, that talks about the select board's presence. Um, and there is a, I, I, let's see, what I learned when I became moderator is that the town clerk is exceptionally knowledgeable about mm -hmm. election procedure, mm -hmm. uh, which is election procedures are carefully regulated by state law, and there's a, the compliance manual is like that. Um, uh, and so I've, I've had the luxury of learning election procedure from really a, a master of the, of the process. Um, and so I've, I've sometimes wondered you know, how necessary it is for the moderator, but it, the, the statute's pretty clear that the moderator has to open and close and be present. And when um, both parties, um, at least if both parties have inspectors that are watching what we do, um, and the state Attorney General's office sends people through to look at what we do. So we do want to be sure to comply, but let me check, because I, I kind of had the impression that you did, and I seem to recall a conversation with Mike Rolo, because I asked him, you know, do, you, do all three of you have to be here? And I think he said, no, we're, we're here, you know, generally to help assure our constituents, the voters in this town, that, that this is well run and that, um, um, you know, we can be an extra set of hands for getting ballots and mm -hmm. um, so on and so forth. Um, they uh, sometimes the the uh, sometimes the selectmen spell me. Um, so with the voting machine, the, inst the the instructions for the moderator is not to touch the um, ballot, but to monitor how it goes in, so mm -hmm. that people can you know, get their ballot into the machine uh, cleanly and clearly. So I stayed there the whole time, but um, you know, Mike and the other select board members would spell me for a while so mm -hmm. I could get some lunch or do something different. And it allows um, uh, Kate to uh, you know work with the supervisors, or if there's a line for check-in, that lets her uh, pay attention to that. But honestly, I have this recollection that you are not all three required to be there. Uh, for all day. So okay. let, me, let me double check. Okay, sure. You know, I mean, I certainly can put time in. That is not a problem. And yeah. I know that we usually stay at the end and then have count and that kind of stuff, which is... Um, you do have to certify the vote. Right. We sign, the, we sign the papers that come sign out of the uh, voting machine, I believe. Yeah. So those are, I mean, out in the evening hours, it's not a problem at all for me. To, but uh, during the day, it might be, no, I couldn't take all day, probably. So if you get back to us and we can work it out, we don't all have to be there, we can work it out with the three of us and making sure that there might be somebody who's there most of the day. So again, to spell you, you know, so you can do whatever you have to do and Kate and so I don't have a problem with that. I just kind of really make sure I'm well, so quiet. I'll probably confer with Kate too. Sure. I still lean on her quite heavily on production stuff. Yeah. So. No, that's great. I appreciate that. Thanks, Charlie. Glad to do it. Um, the only change I was going to make you all aware of is that my I never saw the reason for reading the text of the warrant article before debate. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, there are so many ways now that people get notice of what's mm -hmm. in those warrant articles that it seemed to me archaic to, mm -hmm. to read it for everyone. Um, at the school board deliberative session, though, that their council you know, strictly construing the state statute that says that the warrant article shall be read, said 
I should read it, and so I did read it. Mm -hmm. um, I am happy to go to NHMA and see what other moderators do, but I, I was thinking I would probably just read it and try to be, you know, clear about it, but not not labor over it. Mm -hmm. um, do you have you had discussions about who might present the various articles? Just introduce the articles so that the first person who speaks to it <coughs> kind of orient voters. Here's what we're what we're, what we're voting on, and here's why we put the Warren article forward. I believe it was you, right? It was never officially decided. I, I assumed it would be, but right. I don't know that that was officially determined. Okay, if it, it will probably be voted <coughs> after our meeting, we're probably going to do it. And vote it. <laughs> <laughs> and if for some reason she is not able or something, um, it would of course be one of us. So. Um, and similarly for answering questions that come up, do you? I would think it would be between Caroline and one of us. I mean, probably me as chair, um, if I can, and if not, I may search the two others, for, you know, and uh, yeah. Fun friend, yes. <laughs> um, so I would say between Caroline and I, but mostly if, I'd like to keep it to one person, but if she might miss a little part of it or something, we can have the right to make sure that it's clear. Okay. okay. Um, and are there any changes to moderators' house rules that you'd like to see? Mm -hmm. Any? Any questions or comments that you've heard from voters, like they they love this or they hate that, or no? I think you should, if there's a change, that you definitely should ask for it in writing. I think that's something that is absolutely right. the most absolutely is a still a must because I think that's um, been a positive change. It's, it's been a positive way. change, yeah. So I don't I, I don't think anything has been. <coughs> I don't. We haven't been to one. Have no, been to, I've you never been to one. To I, I, I think it's well run. I think you set the expectations up front of how people are to address. Um, yeah, I think it's good. Yeah. I'll try to keep that short so that we get right to the business. But yeah, it, it does help to. Because some people are intimidated by the process too, and we don't want that. We, want we don't, but yeah, I mean, you, did have, you still have to follow a, a, a process, and otherwise, it could turn into a circus, and that's not what we want either. <laughs> like All right, I'll also check in with Bob. Um, uh, again, <coughs> police present. Yeah, uh, um, again, I think it's helpful, um, but unless if you don't anticipate anything being particularly contentious, sure. You never know. Well, I thought, I thought it was a requirement to have the police officer. I remember Bob standing by the voting machine all the, all the time. That's he's often right. there. He's in and out during elections. Um, I don't know that he's. Oh, you're talking about the delivery session. Yes. Yeah. Oh, 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 okay, okay. So, I, I think he typically stays to um, lend a voice to articles that he can respond to, mm -hmm. and then he's also just a presence. But I don't think he necessarily stays to the end. Yeah. I, I can't think of anything that's really gonna. And are the people up for our? Um, and those articles are so um, I, I see that you're looking at a previous version, but just note that the, the highlighted that you're the highlighted words that you're looking at. The board did vote last week to um, not recommend that one about elderly exemptions. Okay. I'll work with an updated version. Yeah, I'll send you the signed real copy. Um, the next one, they are withholding any recommendation. There's just nothing. And then the following one, they are recommending. Okay. Otherwise, that is the current, that is otherwise accurate. And the, um, do we know, are there, are there people who have identified themselves as being willing to speak to any of these? I think you said Lorraine was willing to speak on one. She would be able to speak to the redistricting one. Um, the first one, Kim St. Hilaire handed in, and I think she said she would be willing to speak to it. Um, I believe you have her email address, because I think it was copied yeah. on a thread. Yeah. Um, and then Mr. Bowen, who represents um, Dover Bowl, who is a sponsor of that 
uh, is behind you. And um, though he's not a resident, I don't believe, he could tell you what resident might be able to speak to it. Yes, Mr. Bowen. Yes. Is there a resident that would speak to the article on sports retail betting? Um, Sue Monaghan. Sue is a name. The Jalberts. Um, I mean, Sandra or Jimmy. Okay. I mean, but Sue spearheaded one of the petitions. So. Good. Any questions? No. Yep. Yes. Good. Yeah. All right. Thank you for your Thanks, time. Thanks, Charlie. Appreciate it. Okay. So, um, Mark, do you want to speak to the board? I was going here to see if what I did, you know, assuming I did to the petition and all that's going to translate into an article to vote. It did. Oh, it's it did. It did. It did. I just wanted to make sure I was. Yeah. The ball got passed. That's we assumed it was Dover Bowl. I don't think it said it was Dover Bowl, but we assumed well, it was. Well, because the text doesn't say that because right. that wasn't part of the text. Right. It's just that he worked to get it signed. Yes. Yeah. So, that yeah. Be so yeah. yeah, we. Uh, it is going forward to be on okay. the ballot. Great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You guys have a good day. You as well. Thank you. Have a good day. Right. See you Wednesday. Mr. Casanelli. Yeah. See you Wednesday. Yeah. They're regulars. Mr. Casanelli owns the junkyard and towing business on some of the Okay. Yeah. So, Mr. Casanelli, you want to speak to the board? Yes. Yeah. 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 Y
now is on the second page, but this is how they've been, the other selectmen have been signing the bottom. Mm -hmm. Do you want to give it to you or to them? Or? Um, unless you want it, I'll take it. You give it to her. Yeah, and then you just have to fill the, to, yeah. the stop line here similar to what okay. the previous selectmen did. I'm sure we can handle that. And then I have to go deliver that to Concord. Okay. You want this also? Or? Um, no, I think that's plenty right okay. here. Um, and I'll make sure Tom knows that I I have this, but, um, okay, thank you. Well, um, I haven't heard anything, and it's getting, you know, a month away, that's why I came here. Well, because he's been waiting for these pictures, and then he got the pictures, so he's just, we don't have Tom for a lot of hours every week, yeah. so, you know, he fits in <clears> with <throat> everything else that he does, but he has the picture, so he's going out to confirm um, that you've met all the requirements. So yeah, they should have never sent good. this one. There was a kid who came down and he said, oh, I just took it off the internet. He goes, so I'm going to zoom out so that the property line looks good. So, I don't know. I mean, but then it was civil engineers here in South Carolina. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, then. Okay. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. Have a good night. Have a good night. All right. So, let's see. Okay. Community input. Consent calendar. Approve for okay. consensus. Yep. All right. Uh, and that's already done. Um, town meeting. Meet the moderator. I think we're all set with all those things. Oh, this is our, our thing here. Okay, so that's yeah. all set. Recreation legal review. Um, so I sent those handbooks, the employee handbook and the parent student handbook to um, the attorney to get a quote as he requested. Um, he's willing to cap it at five hundred dollars. Nice. So um, that's way less than I expected. Yeah. That is less than I would have thought too. So if it's all right with the board, then once the committee approves it, which would be Wednesday night in mm -hmm. theory, that's their goal for Wednesday night. Then we'll pass it on to legal. Mm -hmm. Are you? Is everybody good with that? Yeah. Yeah. Good idea. Good idea. Okay. Non-public personnel? That's just a holder? Um, you, you sent a proposal on to the board for their consideration, oh, okay. so if you want to talk about that, then we, we should can, do that non-public. We can but go through can the rest the of that and then go to back into that? Yes. Okay. Um, we're not going to do policy review tonight, correct? No, okay. I don't have an updated draft okay. for you. Board activities and updates? Sanitary. We have rec this week on Wednesday, um, so we will be there. Try to get this on the go. Um, it's, that's all I have the rest of the week. Yeah. Um, the audit is over, so we're start. You know that just finished today, so we're starting to breathe a little bit in the office. We're still finishing up some year-end things. I'm going to have you sign off on um, everybody's paid time off carryovers, um, but I'm having employees do that first, so we want to make sure that employees are agreeing or that we reconcile whatever differences before you sign off. I just want you to know that that's coming. Um, I got a doodle poll from um, the city manager in, in Rochester. Um, there's been a collective huge concern about the change in the stormwater permit. And so um, the area, as many as are available, the, the city managers and town administrators of the Annisport communities are going to get together on February 4th to talk about how we are going to respond to um, what's going on right now, which is that as a result of a lawsuit, the, um, the permit has changed some. Um, we're in a feedback period with regard to that permit, and then they're going to revise the permit again in about six months, and there will be another public comment period. So um, I believe part of this is about being unified about public comment, but also in the, re in the approach. Um, the last Stormwater Coalition meeting, we had um, a representative from EPA come and discuss um, these changes. The implications will be considerable for us, I think, but um, 
it's more so for places that have um, wastewater treatment plants that the amount of nitrogen is going to be capped, which means that if there is any new development, any increase in households, that you have to dilute your output or, or drop your concentration somehow in order to um, stay compliant. And so um, Dover just upgraded their facility and they're working, and, and they're, if they were to be completely compliant, they said it would cost them about $25 million to redo their facility again. So, you know, it, it's a little bit, um, it seems to not really be feasible to meet the kinds of requirements that they're Dover requesting. Does. Dover does 373 pounds per day on average from 2012 to 2016. The new limit is 164. Right. So they're more than double yeah. what their limit is. Ours is, we're exactly in the case that if there's any new development, because we're one of the smaller communities, they've put us in a holding pattern. So our average right now is 11.4 pounds per day, and that's been since 2012 2016, so I don't know how the trend was, but they limited us to 12. So we are just under the limit. We wouldn't have to do anything <coughs> right now, but if it's sample tomorrow, it was 13, then we'd be not fine. So there's development implications. Um, I don't know how much the Water Sewer District is, is um, aware of what's going on or not. I know the EPA reached out to them about um, the revisions. I don't know if they're attending or not. There are implications for us with development, but also with stormwater. It just seems like the heaviest implications are with the wastewater treatment plant. So and in any case, I'm, I just wanted to let you know that I'm going to this meeting and that we're trying to be on the same page about this. Um, other than that, now that we're done with audit, we're moving on to the um, voters guide. So I want to alert you of that. Um, I don't know if we can wait until the next meeting date for this draft, which doesn't exist yet, to be approved before printing, before getting mailed, because you know we've got a short cycle. So just be on the lookout for the draft when I send it, and let me know if you have any feedback. And we need to let the printer know that it's coming. What are we doing about the annual report? Um, I have sent an email out to department heads alerting them that um, they need to be thinking about it. It's due um, to um, this office the middle of February. Um, as far as, you know, the board's contribution or my contribution to that, it, it, in my brain it's kind of related to the, um, it's not related to the voter guide, but it's, it's, it's in the same category in my brain, so I just haven't gotten there Things yet. Things that have to be written. <laughs> yes, that, that haven't happened yet because of audit. So um, if one of you wanted to take that on and just summarize 2019, that would be fantastic, but I don't know. If there's a vote to do that. Well, do we know who we're going to dedicate the report to this year? We have two people who were there, um, major uh, contributors to the town. Um, I don't know who's which, writing which those. Ed, Ed, no, Ed Jansen and um, um, Tornadoes. Cowat was, was before. Cowat was last year. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Right? Yeah. 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 yeah, it was a year ago. It was, right, yeah. it was in December. And, um, so I don't know who's writing yeah, those last year too, but there were two last year. We did have two well, last, last year. year, but last year is when you're going to do it. It's, we, it's, we had it's, two in 2018. Two were honored in two, for the 2018 town report, and then two um, noteworthy people passed away in 2019 okay. as well. So um, actually, it was more too because well, it was a, the previous fire chief as well. But I mean, you only can do so many, so. Um, he was a resident. Huh? He was a resident. Ron Brown? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about Kevin. Oh, no, no. Ron oh. Brown? Yes. Oh, two Brown. people in New Hampshire with coronavirus. Oh, God. What? Two people in New Hampshire isolated undergoing testing. Mm -hmm. um, so, so I'll ask Kate if she knows who's writing those up. Or if well, she had mentioned to me that you know, someone would want to step up to do Mr. Jansen's, but also if, if we want to, I mean, I don't know who makes those decisions of who gets honored in the inner report, but. If we, if we do have it be Mr. Janato's, maybe we get the family to help write it. I'll talk to Kate. You know, see what, I, I don't know if that's what you want to do, if you just want to do um, honorable mention and have an employee, um, town people who have done 
Yeah, I, I don't either. So. Um, is Janato's the same family that owns Janato's in Pittsburgh? No, it's a supermarket in Dover. Oh, okay. I'm thinking of another Janato's. Yeah. Um, that, that's, that's all I have. Okay. okay, so we should probably think about it as a board of what we would like to see yeah. added into our, our contribution, maybe. Yeah. What we can do with that as well. Okay. Thank you. Thank you that. Right. Um, there are some other things before you go into non public. A couple of things here. Um, so, we have an abatement for $70. These are must be leftover yes. residence taxes. This was something that um, the auditor found. Okay. So, for 2018, these ones were overlooked. There are seven people that are either military removed or. Accept this abatement of seventy dollars for seven individuals. All right, seven individuals. Okay. Okay. So, what does it mean that we're going to be giving this out? Or well, Please. no, it, it's money not received. So you're basically closing the books on oh, it. Oh, okay. Okay. With the total of seventy dollars. Yes. Okay. All right. Any discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. All right. I have some POs. Um, number 1806 for um, coming from the supply line for to Intuit for checks for primary checking account in the amount of $596.99. I'll second that. Any discussion? Got it. Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Um, purchase order number 1805 to LaBelle Computer Services for IT hardware support and services in the amount of $760, or 10 hours. I'll second that. All right, any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. So that would be a good example of a, what did we call that, a bundle PO, where we just... Oh, blanket oh, PO. Like a, like a blanket, blanket PO. PO. Um, it kind of is, except that it's invoiced in that way. So a blanket PO would really allow for several invoices under one purchase order. And then purchase order number 1808 for 20 rolls of stamps. It's uh, coming from the postage line in the amount of $1,000. Stamps are expensive. I'll second that. All right, any discussion? No. All right, all those fans say aye. 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 And I have one PO as well. So I'll move purchase order 1905 to LHS Associates for the uh, AccuVote programming for the 2020 slash February election for $584. Second. What is that for? Programming for the ballot machine. Oh, 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 okay. They come in and they actually program it here. Okay. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 You signed these rights? I did, yeah. Uh, so signed, that's signed too, yeah. Alright, anything else? Alright, I have I have a letter here. Um, this is for um, town, um, City of Dover is sending us a letter um, telling us what um, the estimated uh, value is of the um, up and coming um, hazardous, hazardous waste day um, that Dover um, does and we participate in. And they're doing it for $2,338, which is. Um, that is our share, right? That is what they want you to have yeah. set aside to cover. Not that it would necessarily be that much, but right. they just want to know that you have that much money in, in budget dollars available. For it us. must not be based on last year's then? No, it's based entirely on what they receive and how many people show up yeah. from which community. We've only budgeted 1876, so it will be um, 600 approximately. Mm -hmm. So, um, it is what it is. 
Any comment? <coughs> yeah, it is what it is. Motion to motion to sign yeah. and, and mix pay that. Well, well, you don't pay anything until the time. Oh, yeah, right. Right. Less just less authorizing us like a yeah. plus. So. Just letting them know that we do want to participate. We want to participate. Okay, so all those are in favor, right? Correct. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll second that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so. Uh, so just one question: Are there alternatives? Not that I'm aware of. Okay, like they can't you know, call can, it up to the turnkey or. I. I don't believe so, but if you know any any it other more any I alternative that I'm aware of, yeah. it would be more expensive. Okay. Just like that in my option. Oh. Yeah. All right, that's all we have. Okay, so um, community input. All right, so we need a motion to go into non-public, please. I'll, I'll move, move that we go into non-public. So RSA 91A, colon 3, section 2, board A, personnel. All right, uh, Jessica? Yes. Uh, Miles? Yes. Denise, yes. Okay, so we're in non-public and then